Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. So, back in our beloved Mirage again. Now today we've listened to our lovely viewers and we're going to show off a fully automatic landing. So that is a landing using approach mode and it's using the ILS and uh, it's going to basically take us in and land us completely automatically. Apart from the throttle, we know that the base we're heading towards is this one here, Copy Leddy and we can click on it and we've got our ILS 111.5067x Tacan so let's go and get that done down here 111.50 67x ray transmit and receive Tacan let's go to R change this here to uh, our HSI to Tacan there with that knob there um, just realized I'm stalling myself. We're now going to put approach mode on here, like so. And we're going to get some symbology here. So we've got the horizon line. We've got a U bracket there and a deviation line there, the dotted line. We want to get our path marker there in our U bracket. So let's chase that to the left. So I'm pretty far off course. We're going to have to do some hasty corrections here. See if we can get it done. Now it's starting to go to the right, so path marker, let's chase it. And we're within 10 miles, I think that means. So the square box has appeared, which we're going to chase with our path marker. Whoops, way too fast. I'm looking for about a thousand feet roughly. But uh, we just follow the box, that'll get a lot of altitude for us as well. Gonna chase that up a little bit further, it wants us up higher. Once it's left, not the prettiest of approaches. <laughs> right. All right. So it's trying to guide us onto the right vector, basically, as well as the right heading. And there's our virtual runway that's appeared. So you can see we're probably just about in a position now to turn the autopilot on. So next, we're going to just retrim that and then turn the autopilot on. So, pang, whoops, pang, and landing mode. It's gone green, so it's happy to accept that we're in the uh, three degrees cone of landing approach. So we have to get within that cone of landing approach for the autopilot to work. It's happy. So now all we've got to do, I'm going to turn the air brake off. Now, all we've got to do, I'm not touching the control stick anymore, all I'm touching is the thrust lever. And I've got to get my chevron there and there within the brackets there. That's the speed that it wants me to be doing at the particular point of the approach. So, I'm, they're too high at the moment, so I want air brakes on. And you can see now we're getting these chevrons uh, down towards the square bracket, so a little bit slower. And air brake off. No, need a bit more air brake. So it's ramping up my alpha there, you can see. Air brake off. Okay, now I'm going to have to punch my seat up. Because I can't see diddly squat. Oops, I've stalled it. Oh, can I survive this? Probably not. Maybe, I may have just survived that. You can see I put it in a horrible oscillation. It would be really interesting if we can survive this now. I reckon we can do it. Uh, we can do it. So I've got the chevrons back in the box. In the brackets. So the speed it's happy with. Gear down. And you can see the alpha. It's got the ideal 14 degrees of alpha or thereabouts. Again, remember all I'm touching at the moment is the thrust lever, so it's a little bit weird feeling, but it was a pretty bad approach because I, I said it when I came in, when I turned the autopilot on, I was on a bad approach. You can see it having to wiggle left and right to try and get the approach right, but I think it can still land it. Yeah, I reckon we're going to land it. bang on what it wants. We're going to go through the virtual runway. 
Power off. Standard me. Parachute out. And that, sir, was a fully automated landing. All I had to do was get it on approach about 15 miles away. Bunged on my yard upon it and it landed it for me. Right, so we tried a scrappy one and I'm going around again for, I've set it all up and I'm going again for a prettier one. So let's see if we can get it a little bit better this time. There's our box. So I'm way out of the three degree, uh, way out of the groove at the moment. I want to be up there. Ah, uh, well now we're cooking on gas, guys. Now we've got it. And then chase the box down. Virtual runways up. Autopilot on. Seat's already set up this time, so I shouldn't stall it. Right, accelerometer down. Let's get these chevrons down. This one's going to be beautifully smooth. And Alpha's raising up. Leaving air brake on this time and chasing the... Just all I'm touching is the throttle now. Chasing the throttle. Chasing the bracket, sorry. And this is going to be beautiful. Gear down. Maybe raise your air brakes once your gear are down. Mm -hmm brakes off chasing the brackets it wants me to do a very tedious landing it's going to take five mics for ten mics to get in at this right but she is the boss To be fair, you seem to be on a pretty decent speed of 153. Well, that's me hands off everything now. I'm now sitting with my hands behind my head, not touching anything. This is proper lazy man stuff. This suits me. I, I could just do external views while landing. I could actually go and put the camera up on the runway and film myself landing. How funny is that? Don't you crash into me, second person. Hey, pal. Are you on auto as well? Yeah, I'm just coming out of it because I Lol. didn't see you at you that just place. I just saw you appear from my nose. <laughs> Lolcopter. I like my autopilot. I'm just chilling with my autopilot looking around. Smoothest landing in history. Interesting, it doesn't um, flare at the end, it just drives you into the concrete. Well, given how angled you are already, I suppose you just need to keep yourself flared, and that looks pretty stable to me. Perfect. New way of landing. Lovely. So that was a uh, second attempt, but this time much cleaner. Right, hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you later.